G'day, in this short video, what I'm just gonna do is just explain to you a way to make a bevel block, or the, the top piece for a friction fire set using a bow drill system. So this is one that I've had for a while. It's, just, it's made of rock. So often we do that with wooden implements because it's a lot easier to make a wooden head piece. Now the purpose of a bevel block is to actually seat and control the top of a drill. This being the drill, this being the bevel block. So if I'm spinning this with the, the, the bow itself doing all that spinning action for me, it's important that I have good depth in here to control the top of the spindle or the drill. So one of the primitive survival skills that I find quite interesting to, to undertake is to peck a hole in an existing piece of rock. Right? So we found a rock like this, it's kind of got the, it, the, the fit of a good headpiece for our friction drill set. Now, but it doesn't have the hole that I want it to do. Now I've just started as a tester this one. So it's probably only a couple of millimeters deep. But what I wanted to show you is how we actually get to that stage and how we then pro progress it down to a, a decent hole that will receive the top of that drill. And that's called pecking. So that's a primitive survival skill set. It's useful because it can give us a long-term use of a, of a piece of stone or for some reason if I'm just not having success with my bow drill system and I want to take it to another level to make sure it's more reliable I can apply this and that'll be doing the job for me. So the first things you're going to need are the material itself. Now this is a piece of granite, just a piece of pink granite and I'm using basalt as peckers. So pecking is a very ancient human skill set. Right? That dates back to prehistory. So basically what I'm going to do is continue to work in this pecking fashion. I'm just literally crust, crushing it down to dust. So this needs to be some kind of substance or substrate of, of stone that will allow it to sort of crumble a bit. So this needs to be a little bit harder. Basalt being harder works quite well. You can see it there, but you're getting, I'm getting a lot of dust coming out of that actual hole that I'm working. So, so that my kangaroos are not really that stoked about the whole process. So they'll get used to it. So I'm going to cut away now and just give you a, a close-up of that actual process. All right, so I've been driving the kangaroos here nuts with that noise for about 20 minutes, maybe a bit more. And I keep a drill on hand. So what I want to, what I make sure is, oh, that's the wrong end of that drill. What I make sure is that's gonna sit in there adequately because nothing's worse when you're doing a friction fire lighting set and that drill flicks out over there. So if I can get that in there, then I'll mold those two together like that. I'm pretty happy that that's going to hold that in there quite well. It's not a massively deep, deep hole. Probably only, only looking about five, six mil, maybe seven. And it's not going to be like a nice, neat hole that would match completely, perfectly what you get out of a wooden bevel block. Because I, I've got to use the angle of the stones to get in there. So if I'm too fine with these, they just chip off too much. And I lost a bit of these anyway. So you're kind of limited to the shape of your pecker as well to some, some extent. And you can chop and change these around literally to get better angles, but you're still only going, you're going to get more of a, a broad cup 
than this deep pocket hole. This is an old one and this was actually not pecked. This was made by Mother Nature. So it was a natural deformation in the stone or deformity in the, in the, in the stone that's been out in a creek and a river system for obviously hundreds of thousands of years and it's created a perfect bevel block shape. So that's what I'm kind of seeking and I'm working with very, very primitive technology systems to achieve something similar. And that seems to be working quite well now. So if I put all that together, there's our system. All you need to do now is add the bow and we've got our friction system. And this is something I can take with me as a bit of a, a tool set, toolbox approach to dealing with friction fire the next time. So anyway, it's an interesting skill set. It is, as far as I'm concerned, it's what I call, a, it's one of the primitive survival skill sets. So while there's anthropology involved in it, in terms of how human beings have, in ancient times, utilized stone tool um, technology, and in particular this technique of pecking, I find it has, it's actually something I've used a few times in survival activities, exercises, and training to get me out of a sticky point where um, I hadn't had a good result by using wood in that particular area because it was either all too soft, all too wet, all too damp, or for whatever reason, I wanted something a bit more sturdy to hold the top of that spindle in place. So that's stone pecking to make a fire set bevel. So until I see you next time, and my kangaroos here, we'll see you again at some point as well. Um, stay safe. Keep learning, never stop learning, and uh, dare to survive.